Hello everyone, so today's subject is someone that you're all probably quite familiar with. If you haven't seen her content before, you've probably watched a video of mine in which she's been mentioned, perhaps in one of the 50,000 videos I've made about Lele Pons. Now both of them are involved in the same network called Shot Studios. I like to think of Hannah as Lele's shadow, but instead of being physically flat and black, she's comedically flat and really white. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest here. I think I've been a bit racist. I've been giving all of my positive attention to Lele Pons, una Latina, and I've not been giving any love to the white gal. So Today I thought we'd go through some of Hannah Stocking's latest content. Now unfortunately, I did watch Lele Pond's recent documentary series, and I was hoping to find something similar on Hannah Stocking's page, but it turns out that Hannah doesn't really have as many issues as Lele does. Like what's she gonna make a documentary about? I can't access my trust fund! My dad only got me a Ford for my sweet 16! So what else can you upload onto your YouTube channel when you're privileged, white, and got nothing better to do with your life? Commentary videos. Yes, that's right, Hannah Stocking is now one of us, and by us I mean me. I say that Hannah Stocking may makes commentary videos, she she made commentary videos. It didn't really go particularly well. And you'd know that if you'd seen them before, but let's be honest here, no one really has. Compared to her skits, these commentary videos that she made don't really get that many views. And today we're gonna find out why. So welcome to today's video, a commentary video about someone else trying to make commentary videos and failing. Murder Hornets, are they real? That's more production value than I've ever had. Let's try and recreate it. <laughs> so excited about this because I had so many questions and so many things to talk about. Well, clearly not, mate. I mean, it lasted. Let's see. One, two, three. Three episodes. Look, guys, I've got so much to talk about. Oh, is that, is that the time? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have a skit about how to get a boyfriend coming out next week. Each episode from this show, I'm going to be giving away money. Oh my God, it actually has production value as well. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna be giving away, not that thing, whatever that is, I'm gonna be giving away this picture of a, a rather attractive looking man. Nah, just kidding, this one's for me. So every week I'm going to be reviewing a TV show or a movie I just watched. Right, I'm gonna just skip over this section because I, I did watch her review. It's really not a review. She kind of just says a bit about what's going on. Jives a bit about how Lana backwards is anal. You guys know what that is backwards? Anal. In all honesty, I'm shocked she even had that word in her video. So so hats off to you. She bumped up her average audience's age from eight to about a, maybe a 10 and a half. But she doesn't review the show like at all. All that she really does is self-deprecate. No smashing, no kissing, and you can win money. So basically what I'm doing now, except I'm not, you know, making money from that. How do I sign up? <laughs> oh, very good. I see Hannah Stocking is your, you're not one of us. You're not a commentary channel. When you say that you don't have sex, no one believes you. Like let's look at your Instagram. No one can put this much effort into their Instagram and then claim that they don't have a love life. Me, on the other hand, I mean, I've got countless to choose from here. That's a good one. I'm allowed to say I'm not attractive because also I like seeing all of the comments tell me that I actually am. You probably have a better chance at winning money from watching this video. Because you are here, I'm going to be giving you 30% off your next purchase. Is this just a huge ad? Like I know I do sponsored posts every now and then, Hannah, but come on. Hold on, is this her merch that she's trying to sell? Hi, how are you? Now that right there is effort. I think I could make that design on paint. You honestly couldn't make this up. That looks identical. Bro, where's my cup? Who named them murder hornet? Like settle down, introduce yourself first. You you didn't even give me the chance or my mother a chance to like give you some pasta salad. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I, I really shouldn't be mean about this. She is trying. There has been an attempt, but that didn't tickle me. It didn't even tickle a dark recess in my lonely, cold heart. It just made me... <sighs> it hurts to breathe. It hurts to live. Insane. It's like they're trying to mix animation with real life and make us believe it. Oh, come on. No, Hannah, you're fooling for it. It's too obvious. That original TikTok had to be ironic. There's no way someone animated that and went, this'll trick the people. Bro, he literally clips through the jar. My guy starts twerking. A lot of people are saying that they grew back really quick. Uh, that's because it wasn't real. All right, you know, I said that the average age was just over 10. Let's drop that to uh, four, maybe pre-fetal. Have they been conceived yet? I'm sorry, if any of you out there saw that video of her eyebrows, I was being shaved off and thought that that actually happened. Actually, you know what, because of that, I'm gonna shave off my eyebrows right now. Oh, did you actually believe that? My God, unsubscribe. That being said, don't unsubscribe. Try subscribing instead. Well, second channel overtook me again. I don't know how much longer I can last. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, if you are enjoying your current viewing, then do subscribe. I want 2 million subscribers by the end of the year. And if I don't get it, I'll quit. Something that is real is this tattoo I gave myself, which is an 11. It was just because I hit 11 million on TikTok. <sighs> I think 
it's always fun to have bets going on with each other, so we should bet who can be healthiest. Oh, what a boring bet, man. I was ready to get my wallet out. Let's bet on which royal family member dies first. Leave a like if you think it's gonna be Prince Andrew. It would be really strange if he randomly died. You got celery, we got ginger. Bottoms up. That's the whole thing? Just go. <coughs> celery, oh, get that taste out of the moment. So make sure you text me your favorite juice recipes. She has so much going on in this video. You can win money. You learn how to make the world's worst smoothie. You can hit her up in the DMs. Unfortunately, my text didn't even deliver. So it's not very inclusive, is it? What about your British audience, Hannah? We didn't want your number anyway. I'm going to be giving away $2,500 every single freaking episode. Well, we know why this series didn't last that long. We were gonna watch her middle episode, Who Let the Goats Out? But she's come in looking like Dennis the Menace. And to be honest, I struggled to sit through one episode. So we're just gonna go to her most recent one. Elon Musk, how cool is he? Do you want the best merch in the game? Sorry, the best merch in the game. <laughs> like, look at the back of this hoodie. I'm gonna play. It's not minimalistic, it's not avant-garde. It's shit. I'm trying to be nice here, Hannah. But the reason you have to give people 30% off your merch is because people don't like your merch. Apparently, these bugs are coming out of the strawberries. And I'm gonna try it today. Oh my God! There's nothing. I really wanted this to work. I mean, what were you expecting? It's TikTok. You're really telling me you believe to TikTok after you lambasted that other TikTok for being fake? Oh no, bugs didn't come out of the strawberries. You really think every supermarket is gonna sell strawberries with bugs in them? So now I need to talk about my hero, the legend, Elon Musk. So this guy, he literally created PayPal and Tesla and SpaceX. We're just launching rockets up into the sky. I'm sorry, this is the most preschool explanation of something. This is Elon Musk. He make money company, he make car company. He make car that go in space. And now he's dropping the Cybertruck in 2021. It's gonna be completely bulletproof. So literally Elon Musk is preparing everybody for a zombie apocalypse. Just saying it's bulletproof. Do any of those zombies have guns, Hannah? What are we meant to do? Just live in the Cybertruck the whole time? You don't need food, guys. Don't worry, the Cybertruck's bulletproof. You know what, these are her first few commentary videos. I need to stop being so harsh, but it's just so fun. I just enjoy it a lot, ripping other people apart. That's what I was born to do. This is a suit that I would wear to go to a club. Oh, okay, so Hannah's talking now goes to clubs. But in the first episode, she said she was a bit of a loner, that she didn't have a love life. I make your mind up. We all know for a fact that you were one of the cool girls. You drink Chardonnay, you can't fool us. He's creating like a robot brain. And so if anything is wrong with your brain, you can literally just swap it out. Blindness. Uh, dementia. All right, Hannah, you're getting a bit ahead of yourself there. I'm sure Neuralink would love to be that advanced, but it's definitely not there yet. So don't go telling the world that dementia can be solved. Otherwise, we're gonna think that you probably have it. Hey, Malaka! Malaka! I'm so excited for you because you have a YouTube original docuseries coming out. What can you tell me yes. about it? Oh my God. So that's the reason why he's on call. She must feel so left behind. Lele Pons had her documentary. Juan Pa has his. And what does she do? Commentary videos. One of us. Whatever. Okay, so this docuseries oh, is called the Isolated. The documentary gives a global vision of the world. The documentary gives a global vision of the world. Well, it's the world. You would expect it to give a global vision because you're talking about the globe. Well, I'm so proud of you and I can't wait. And I love you so much. And I can't wait to piss together soon. You know what? I'm just going to leave that bit unexplained. She doesn't explain it much. Just have it as that. I think it's more humorous. I love how she tries to make it feel real. I can't wait to watch your YouTube premium show, which I wasn't a part of. Why didn't YouTube make this show a premium show? Let's take a look at this middle episode, actually. So this week, I want to talk about a show that I just binged. Oh, I don't want to watch the review again. And then Still, without seeing each other, they propose. How can I sign up? Oh, you're kidding me, Hannah. That's literally the joke you made about the last show. How do I sign up? One of my favorite characters on there, I'm actually going to talk to later. I am going to be giving you 30% off of your next purchase. That's not a review, that's not a review. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm gonna review her series. It's just a load of nothingness. Imagine you're in the deep abyss of space and just nothing is going on around you. This is what this series is like. Honestly, I'm feeling burnt out, ashamed, feel like I've just wasted an hour of my life. I could have been spending all of this time watching James Marriott videos. Sure, my time wouldn't have been any better spent, but at least I'd be putting money into my pocket. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If I could give you any advice, it would be stop with the ads. A brand deal every now and then is good. You don't need to do 
to giveaways. Especially when the majority of people who watch commentary videos are actually watching videos from a long time ago. They're not gonna have a chance to win the giveaway. Only the people who watch the video in the first day are going to win the giveaway. And giveaways don't make people watch videos. They're just pointless. Especially when in the Elon Musk video, you spent a quarter of it talking about the giveaway. Anyway, yeah, if you wanna win $500, make sure to comment murder hornets down below. I'm not actually gonna give you the $500. I just wanna see how many of you want it. Please do subscribe if you're new. Again, I would love 2 million subscribers by the end of the year. And yeah, just like that,